Hi, this is Made by Mommy, and today I'm going to show you how I made this gingerbread man charm using two colors of rubber bands and only a crochet hook. If you want to follow along, I suggest that you try one of my simpler designs first, such as the wreath or the candy cane, just to get a hang of how I work on the crochet hook. After you've done those, you should be able to follow along with this one. Here we go. To start out, do you want to take a single brown rubber band and wrap it around your hook three times. Then take two white rubber bands and slide that brown one to the middle. And add two more brown bands. And that is going to be one of the arms. We're going to repeat to make a leg, adding on just an additional brown one. So it was first a single brown wrapped around three times. Now I'm sliding that to the middle of two white ones. Two more brown bands. and repeat. So now you have one arm and one leg. We're going to make the second leg. One, two, three times around. Slide it to the middle of the white. And then two brown at a time. Once. And again. So now we have two legs attached to our hook. We're going to wait for the second arm until we're further up on the body. Take two brown rubber bands, slide them through these three. And we're going to leave this one to the side. Now to connect this side, we're going to stagger. We're going to skip this first rubber band by pulling all the way through. See, I'm going to catch this in the middle and put this one back on. So take a look at that. And if you need to pause and go back to make yours match mine, it makes sense. Basically, we've just put that rubber band on this side and pulled out this one. Two more rubber bands. And now we're going to skip this one again. So we're going to pull through so that it's hooked on these two. So we've got it through all of them now. We're going to let it come out from that end and catch again. And again. Two more for this left side. So just through those first two. And now we're going to want to get two more onto the other side by pulling through. So we'll pull through all three and then let it go out of that first loop and catch them again. And that's the body of your gingerbread man. 
We're now ready to make the second arm. So we'll slide the body to the side for the moment. Wrap around three times. Two white. Two brown. Okay, you now have two arms and your body and we need to connect it together. So we're gonna string through a rubber band to get this left shoulder. So that's gonna go through the first four rubber bands that are on the hook. So one, two, three, and four. And that's one shoulder. And now we need to construct the other shoulder. And we're gonna be passing through these two loops to get to the other side. So to start, we'll bring it through all of them. And then we're gonna let those top two pop out and rehook them. So now we've constructed our shoulders. Now we're gonna take two more rubber bands through to make a neck. And that's going through all four. And that's your neck and your gingerbread body. So to make the head, we're actually going to basically repeat the wreath pattern to start. So I'm going to take a single brown band, wrap it around my hook three times, take two brown, slide this to the middle, two more brown, basically a wreath with three pairs of rubber bands on each side for the head. And then we're going to add one in the middle later so that it's not hollow. So you've got your three and now we want to construct the other half. And just like we did on the wreath video, you want to go back into the beginning cap band for that wreath to construct the other half. One, two, and let's get the third one, three. So that's the basic structure of your head. We'd like to attach this head to the body. I'm going to take off one side of the wreath. Keep that wrapped around my finger for the moment. If you prefer, you can attach a C-clip. I'm going to pull this half of the head through the neck and slide that neck right over to where the cap band was. And now what we're going to do is add a middle strand. To do that, I'm going to take two more brown rubber bands. I'm going to catch this neck here. Ooh, dropped one. Bring my two rubber bands through the neck and then hook
hook those here. Put the other half of my wreath back on. And now you have a decision to make based on how you want the head shape to be. Um, I'm just going to tie this right off. If you want, you can add a second band to the middle here. It changes the shape of the head. I like it with just one, but you can play. So once you have those in place, slide a single rubber band through the two halves of the wreath and that one that you just added in the middle. And I'm going to do the slip knot a little slower because I know some people have had trouble with this. So once you have your two halves of the rubber band on the hook, this side is going to go through the middle of this side. So look at it this way. Comes through and then you tug on that one that you just pulled through the middle. And that's what makes the knot. You may want to do a little tugging to get all the rubber bands into place. But that is your gingerbread man charm made using just a crochet hook. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, I'd suggest you also consider looking at the videos I've made for how to make the mini cross, the candy cane, the snowflake, and the wreath all using just a crochet hook. And if you do have a rainbow loom, I have about 30 videos on how to make charms and bracelets on the rainbow loom. So consider clicking the gingerbread man to subscribe to find out when I post additional videos. Or click here for a link to my other videos if you want to watch more right away. And thank you again. I'd really like to say thank you to all of my followers on Instagram who helped me perfect this design with their great comments. So do consider following me there as well. I love to see your pictures either there or on Facebook. And there's also a link below to add yourself to my email mailing list. Thanks again.